Glaucoma is there is intraocular pressures that lead to damage to the optic nerve. Now, not every raised eye pressure means glaucoma because this is a condition called ocular hypertension, which means that the eye pressure is high, but it's not high enough to cause damage to the nerve, which is lies in the back of the eye. Now, there are various causes for glaucoma. Most of the times, we don't know the cause. It's just uh, one of those things which affect the eye means the, the fluids cannot be drained out of the eye so quickly and, and so effectively, which means the pressure starts to build up inside the eye. It's a disease that usually affects uh, middle age and above. It is very rare to have glaucoma in children, although this can happen, but uh, the treatment would be more or less similar to what we do with adult uh, glaucoma. The management of a glaucoma is mainly is through uh, eye drops, uh, thanks to the advanced uh, pharmaceutical uh, advances where we can just put a couple of drops which keep, help to keep the eye pressure under control. The thing is that these eye drops have to be put in the eye for life because it's, uh, the pressure is only good when it's, you put the drops in but if no drops then the pressure will continue to creep up and that can cause further damage to the uh, back of the eye. Uh, if drops alone is not enough then surgical intervention might be required and there are various ways to do the surgery. Some are very uh, advanced called minimally invasive uh, tubes, which are uh, tiny stents put inside the eye to allow or to enhance the drainage of the fluids from the eye. Uh, more invasive surgery is called uh, uh, tubes or valves, which are uh, artificial devices inserted in the eye to drain the fluid. Uh, sometimes they do what we call trabeculectomy, which are a way to create a natural valve on the, uh, the eye to drain the fluids when the pressure starts to creep up. The management of glaucoma has improved a lot in the last few years. Uh, we have uh, better uh, ways to, to uh, better ways uh, in uh, modalities in addressing raised pressure in the eye and it's very rare now patients go blind from glaucoma. One example of managing glaucoma is patients coming for cataract surgery and glaucoma at the same time. So one of the uh, nice and advanced way to control the eye pressure is that to do the cataract operation first and then at the end of the procedure we insert a small stent inside the eye which allow the fluids to drain nicely and help to control the eye pressure after the surgery. In those cases, this is a, a glaucoma that is not really advanced. It's a mild to moderate glaucoma, borderly controlled with the topical medication and then uh, mix or minimally invasive uh, devices like uh, stents help very well to keep the eye pressure under control.